Welcome to the second video of our Blind 75 series. In this video, we're going over every single uh, uh, every single uh, Blind 75 problem and trying to understand exactly how we solve those problems. In this particular uh, in this particular uh, problem, which is problem number two, we need to look at whether two words given to an algorithm are anagrams of each other or not. So. Given uh, two strings S and T, we return true if the two strings are anagrams of each other. Otherwise, we return false, right? That's the basic premise of this question. Um, what is an anagram? We need clarity around uh, that as well. And as programmers, most of us uh, in a practical situation might not know the practical application of that particular project that we're building. But we need to understand those uh, specific aspects of, of the project that we are setting up so we can. We can set that project up more optimally for the client themselves. So here we need to understand what an anagram is, even if you don't know that. Uh, and they've given that right there in the problem, as you would be given in any coding interview that you give. So an anagram basically is a string that contains the exact same characters as another string, but the order of the characters is different, right? So again, like now uh, we basically need to understand is that we have two meaning meaningful words but uh, they have the same characters, the same letters in equal amounts used among them, but the order of those characters is different. That's what an anagram basically is. So to start every problem, one of the most core aspects of that problem is after you understand the basic premise and the meaning of, the, uh, of that particular task is to look at the examples given, right? That's from that's where you'll slowly build up your solution to, right? And in the in this case, basically, we need to make sure that these two examples, when we run them, work properly and the code runs properly and both of these examples are addressed, right? And given the constraints with S and T are lowercase English letters, so that, that is our constraint. So how do we start uh, basically? Uh, so uh, how do we solve this uh, is anagram problem basically? Basically, first we need to determine whether the two strings S and T are anagrams of each other. That's the basic ultimate uh, aspect of this problem that we need to always keep in mind. We are looking if S and T are anagrams of each other, not the specific words, but any two words. Or presumably, they've given us those words S and T as well, whether they're anagrams or not, right? Based on that, uh, we need to uh, first write down our plan for it. So we'll have three points to it. I wrote down three points for my pseudocode, but uh, in this case, basically, let's, uh, you know, let's uh, get that started, basically. So step one, is basically check if the lengths of S and T are, are are the same basically, and if they're not the same, we return false, right? So that that's what we need to look into. So that's for one. That's the first thing from my uh, pseudocode. So based on that, uh, what we need to do here is write the code uh, to see if our uh, code is uh, equal to each other. So uh, we have two characters coming in into this uh, function, which are S and T which are basically words or anything that will be given in this context. Let me write my code now. So as you can see here, uh, we are uh, we have written down. Uh, we have solved the first solution. We've written on the first solution for this uh, this particular problem. And you'll be wondering, we need to check if the strings, uh, 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 if the length of S and T are the same, not that they're not the same. But the thing is, what is the easiest way to immediately determine uh, uh, the situation and make a decision based on that situation? So if it uh, the length is the same, it means it could potentially be an anagram, right? That's the first thing. If lengths are not the same, uh, basically, the base case, the base first premise in my pseudocode is if the two lengths of the strings S and T are equal, uh, they could be anagrams. But if they are not equal, they cannot be anagrams. So we can return false, right? And the logic behind that base case is quite simple. If the lengths of S and T differ, uh, we can return false immediately and the program terminates because if they are different, uh, we cannot even think for any further whether they could be anagrams or not. But if they are true, then they could be anagrams or not. So we immediately identify the first case through which we can immediately make a decision and exit the code, basically, right? So that that's the first thing we did in this code. 
Now, the second uh, step that uh, uh, pseudocode that I wrote for this particular program is looking to count the frequency of characters in both strings, basically, and to write that down. So basically, if we, uh, we get that back to the indentation required, we get that out there. And now we need to count the number of characters in this code. So we create two variables uh, as dictionaries, empty dictionaries, and uh, you know, to start this process off, to do that, let me write that code down. With that out of the way, that is the first two uh, uh, two variables that we'll use to count the frequency of each of the characters in each of the uh, uh, strings that are sent to it. Now we want to count those characters. For that, we'll set up two for loops, each for each of the string that is given to us, and count the characters of those for loops, basically. So with that, let's uh, write our code down for that. With that, we set up our first uh, code to check count through all the ch ch characters in S and uh, uh, from uh, the zeroth index and slowly add until we get all the characters for that index and count all the characters we have in that index. After that, we write the for loop for the T uh, for the T string and we'll do this. It would be exactly the same as the one that we just wrote down right now. So let us write that down. That we're, co we're counting the frequency of characters in both uh, in in both the in the both the uh, strings that we get in that, and basically in this step, what we need to check there's a basic premise for this step as well. So the reason we're counting the frequency because we use the because both S and T e, uh, uh, for both the S and T we first count the occurrences of each character, and the reason for that is that if both strings have the same amount of uh, frequency of each character, their anagrams. So here what we're checking to make sure is that both S and T, the, uh, the occurrence of S and T, uh, uh, S and T uh, of each character in S and T is the same. Because if both characters uh, do not have the same occurrence uh, among them, um, then again, this is the second call. If the number of characters in both are different, they cannot be anagrammed, so we can immediately say no, basically. But this is not the logical position here. We, we have just made, we are just doing the count here, basically. So next for us is to uh, make, uh, you know, the final step for this uh, particular problem would be to count, uh, uh, to compare the characters, character counts and make a decision based on that. And for that, uh, let me uh, paste my pseudocode here. And, you know, let's just do a simple compare. And we don't even need to do anything. We just write a return statement and we compare uh, uh, we compare both of them uh, together basically the both the count so count s with count t so if it's uh, not equal this expression would uh, translate into false and the value of, uh, answer false would be sent out by the by this particular um, uh, solution and if it's true the answer true is sent out either way we don't need to explicitly uh, do any logic here just this expression so resolving itself before returning to the main function should give us the answer. So when we run this code, we should solve both of the problems. Both of the cases are accepted here. As you can see, both cases are solved. Now, this might seem a very, very 
uh, you know, logical way to solve this problem. And probably that's how most people would solve this problem. But there's a more concise approach that can be used in Python. We can use collection dot counter to count the frequency of characters in both strings and directly compare the resulting dictionaries basically. So there is a library called coll uh, collections and we're going to um, import a function that already does uh, what we're trying to do here itself. So we import. Collections. From, uh, we import collections. Uh, oh, sorry, I think I. Uh, yeah, it's from collections import counter. And even uh, it's case sensitive. Always remember this is case sensitive. We re remove all the code that we've written uh, and you'll see how easy it becomes uh, if you know the appropriate uh, you know, libraries for these situations as well. So um, we just simply uh, return uh, a counter comparison. So we just tell return a comparison using the counter uh, uh, function that we just imported. Counter run, run that counter on S and compare that with run, uh, counter running a counter on T. And after resolving this statement, if it's equal, it should be true. If it's not equal, it should be false and the result would be uh, automatically be sent. So we can resolve this in one, two lines basically with this optimized solution. And that is one of the ways you can understand why Python is very powerful as a language as well, because you have so many existing solutions out there uh, that if you're familiar with them or if you can, if you have some time to research them, you can immediately just use them to solve the you know uh, complicated problems in very uh, short amount of time, basically. So as you can see, the counter function of the collections counts the frequency of each character in the strings S and T. If the two counters are equal, the strings are anagrams. If they aren't, they aren't. So that's how we basically can set up the optimized version of uh, a solution for this. Now, with every blind 75 or any problem that's related to coding interviews, the time complexity is very essential. So the time complexity of this problem is O of N, which basically means uh, that N is the le uh, length of the strings S and T. Since we tra tra traverse each string once to count the characters, so the length should be N, which should be the equal to the length of the strings that are sent in basically. With that, I think uh, we were able to very quickly and concisely solve the problem uh, number two on our blind 75 list. And uh, with that, we're going to wrap this video up and we'll see you in the next blind 75 video. Thank you.